Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So today we're taking a look at this. It's the brand new Allosaurus from the Hasbro Jurassic World line. This is a really exciting dinosaur from the second wave of dinosaur toys and I'm super excited to be taking a closer look at this one today. So let's kick off by taking a closer look at the packaging. So up in the top left hand corner you can see the Jurassic World logo there in chrome. You can see the red and blue scaling that we've got on all of the packaging for the Jurassic World line. You can see the T-Rex roaring proudly in the corner just about to snap off the Allosaurus's tail. Down here you can see a rundown of the feature, so it's a chomping attack when you move the tail. And over here it says Allosaurus ages 4 plus, that's me! On the back we got this lovely image of the Allosaurus glowing white, and you can see the Jurassic World logo up in the corner. Over here it says Allosaurus, a ferocious fight for survival. And just in case you were worried this thing was going to actually eat you off the cardboard, this is a fantasy scene. Okay, enough of my rambling about the box. Let's get this guy out of the packaging. Okay, maybe I'll mention one more thing about the packaging. The fact is you can replace these guys in their boxes very easily and I appreciate that. You can keep these guys on display in their box for as long as you want. So here is the Allosaurus out of the box and this guy is magnificent. I say magnificent because this is my favorite Hasbro Jurassic World dinosaur that they've made so far, yep. There I said it, I have a favorite Jurassic World Hasbro dinosaur, and it's this one, it's great. It's a predatory dinosaur that we haven't seen in the film. It's imaginative, I love the bright paint scheme. It just reminds me of the original Jurassic Park toy line, and that is a great thing. So here is the Allosaurus in hand, and what a bright, colorful looking dinosaur. And what a brilliant sculpt as well. This is a really predatory looking dinosaur. It really does look great. Unfortunately, we do have the visible screw holes. You can see we've got four of them here on the side that is a bit of a letdown uh, but apart from that this is a stunning looking little figure but what we're all interested in is the gimmick so let's show you what it does as I swing the tail down you'll see the mouth opens and closes like it's roaring and also the neck rocks back so that's a really nice amount of movement you're getting there and then as you move it left and right the head swings left and right. So you can actually puppeteer this Allosaurus into some really cool roaring poses. In terms of articulation, obviously you have the tail to puppeteer the head. You can also rotate the arms and you can rotate the legs backwards and forwards. Uh, that's it for articulation, I'm afraid, but it is a pretty cool looking figure overall. So let's take a closer look at this guy. Starting off with the head sculpt, you can see we've got a really nice looking predatory head there, really sharp and pointed, and they've got that unmistakable crest of an Allosaurus. Really love the detail around the eye, looks really predatory, and I love the detail of the pupil there in the center of that orange eye. Really, really nice. Unfortunately, the color here, the separation between the reds, the yellows, and this white here, there's no gradient. And I think we would have appreciated a bit more of a gradient flowing between these colors, but that's my only major gripe about this figure. There is a darker red wash that's been applied over the top of this lighter red wash, which really brings out all the scale detail, and I really appreciate that. The head sculpt has got some really nice fine scaling going on, and if I open up the jaw, you can see that they've even painted the tongue on the interior of the mouth, and they've carefully painted the teeth there. And they don't look that bad. On some of the dinosaurs, the teeth have looked really rounded off and horrible. And with this Allosaurus, it actually looks pretty good. They've also used a nice little specular highlight on the eye there with a little bit of gloss. And that really makes the eye look genuine and realistic. Moving down the neck, you can see we've got some really nice fine creases going on on the underside. And some really nice broad scales sculpted on the top. I love all these broad armor scales running along the back. It looks really crocodilian and I really appreciate that attention to detail. In the middle, you can see we've got finer scales, so there's a really nice contrast of not only paint scheme, but sculpt going on here as well. As we move down to the arms, you can see we've got some nice muscular looking limbs there. Really nicely sculpted and painted hands and finger claws. I think maybe they could have done a wash along this yellow part. Um, it kind of looks like a plain yellow plastic, which is what it is, um, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. The sculpt is pretty good. As we move along the torso, you can see we've got this permanent dino damage. Would have been nice to have had a removable wound like we used to have on the Jurassic Park toys, but I suppose now this might be a choking hazard. As you move down to the leg, you can see we've got the Jurassic World conjoined logo there, which mimics the old conjoined logo of the toys. And you can see we've got some really nice defined musculature. It's a little bit geometric looking, a little bit hard, but I can see what they were going for and I appreciate that. This leg is really nicely extended and comes down into a nice extreme pose, which I appreciate 
appreciate. And there's some really nice sculpted lines here on the toe claws. Really, really nice looking. Unfortunately, the dew claw has not been painted, so it looks a little bit molded with the plastic, but that's a small gripe. As we move back up to the tail, unfortunately this feature means there is a big seam between the body and the tail, but the actual detail along the tail and the shape of the tail is really nice. Looking at the underside of the sculpt, you can see a few more flaws are a little bit more obvious. There's a little bit of white plastic where the jaw rotates around and also the undersides of the feet haven't been sculpted. Overall the paint job looks pretty cool. As I said, it could have done with more of a gradient between the colours. And the finish is a little bit more matte on the body than it is on the head. The head's a bit more shiny. It would have been nice if they had a consistent matte finish for the head and the body but apart from that this is a pretty nice looking figure and I definitely recommend for dinosaur fans you pick this one up this is a really nice addition to my collection so just how big is this guy let's whip out the tape measure you're looking at about seven and a half inches long which is about 18 centimeters long and in terms of the height up to the tail you're looking at about six inches which is about 15 16 centimeters scale comparison time let's bring in the smaller Indominus Rex figure from the Versus Gyrosphere set. We have reviewed this one on the channel, so if you haven't seen that video, link is in the description down below. But you can see how he scales up next to the Allosaurus. Next, let's bring in the smaller Tyrannosaurus Rex figure who just looks absolutely atrocious next to this Allosaurus. Looks like it was sculpted by a child. But apart from that, you can see they scale up fairly nicely next to each other. And here's the Allosaurus next to our good friend off-color Alan. And I think actually these two scale up quite nicely. This could kind of pass as a juvenile Allosaurus, which I think would be a really nice addition to your old toys. Lastly, here's the Allosaurus next to the blue Growler Velociraptor. I'm having to use hand support because if I don't, he might fall over. But you can see actually that Blue scales up massively next to this Allosaurus because he's part of the Growler's bigger line. So there we have it guys, that was today's look at the Allosaurus from the brand new Jurassic World line. This is part of the second wave, you might be finding this is trickling into stores now. It's definitely worth a pick up and I think they are going to sell like hotcakes. Apart from the unfortunate screw holes on the opposite side, this is a good all round toy and it's a shame they didn't release this for the first wave. Compared to that awful Tyrannosaurus Rex, this one is exceptional so Hasbro can give themselves a big pat on the back for this one. Okay guys if you've got this far in the video I want you to leave me a comment down below what's your favorite toy from both waves so far. In the meantime rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.